Well, we're building a model of campus. It's for facilities management. They have a model now that you know they use for making planning decisions. The one they have now is outdated and it's just old. And he, when he went in the first day, he was like, here, we just used some wide out to make this part. We were all like, no, not wide out. They came to us, they had actually been looking into having a professional model builder to make a model and they were getting estimates that were $20,000, $30,000, $50,000 to make this model. We have architecture students right here that are interested in the campus, that are interested in technology and we'd love to have them build this campus model. Here you have an actual client as you would in real life and there are things that he wants that you might not necessarily want, but you got to do it for him. So when the model was built in the 1980s, it was all done by hand. The, they built little masses out of wood for each one of the buildings. We now have a 3D printer that can we can actually um, build the models digitally and, and then have the printer actually print them itself. We definitely spend a lot more time in front of the computer now. Most architecture firms probably don't have this equipment. Um, it's definitely becoming more and more popular. We're going to present facilities management with four study models as different options for them. Then, you know, for, for the students, really the objectives of working with the technology have just been incredible. So, I mean, I've had a great group of students that are um, just taking sort of the, the challenges on and figuring out solutions to those.